Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, day three of the conference, a lot of exciting talks. Um, and in this session, we are very fortunate to have uh, three very known people in the CSERT community, especially at the regional level. Uh, we have Yuka from JP CERT, uh, Shamir from Cybersecurity Malaysia, and Jean Robert uh, Hontomi from Africa CERT. They will be doing a discussion uh, on, uh, the title is Gear Up Regional CSERT Community for More Robust Global Collaboration. Should be very exciting and interesting. I'm looking forward to the discussion. Now, before we get started, um, just a note, uh, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the Q&A box so that the panelists can take it up during the session. So over to you, Yuka. All right, um, thank you very much for the introduction, Adli, and welcome to the session uh, on the regional collaboration. Um, so my name is Yuka Kouchida, working for the JP uh, Coordination Center in Japan. And today I'm here with the two great panelists who have quite long experience in regional CSERT communities. So I would like to introduce uh, Mr. General Bell Hontomi, uh, representing Africa CERT, and also Mr. Mohamed Shamir Hashim. Uh, representing OIC CERT. And with these two panelists um, in this session, uh, we'd like to discuss the importance of collaboration in the regional level. And this is going to be one of the very quite, quite international panel with uh, General Bell um, working for Africa CERT, but currently based in the US. And also uh, Shamil based in Kuala Lumpur and myself uh, in Tokyo. So um, three different time zone. And yeah, so hope you all enjoy this uh, session for the next 30 minutes. And with that, uh, the, these are the panelists that we have today. And um, so the quick information as a background uh, of this session. So working for the Global Coordination Division for the last um, seven years now uh, at JP Sir Coordination Center, for most of the time, I have been involved in uh, uh, AP CERT, which is the Asia Pacific Computer Emergency Response Team, which is the CSER community for the Asia Pacific region, as you can see. And while first, as uh, needless to say, plays a prominent role in the CSER collaboration in the global level, there are many regional CSER communities as well in the, in the world um, as a venue to um, collaborate uh, in a closer uh, proximities. So, um, the purpose of this panel uh, here is to, um, in the next 30 minutes, I'd like to put a focus on this regional uh, CSERT uh, activities and invite our panelists to introduce some initiatives in the regional communities in order to deepen our understanding in the first communities about regional efforts to um, that exist in the different parts of the world and especially from the aspect to enhance the instant handling capability in the regional level. So um, with that, um, I'd like to ask some questions to a panelist and see um, how they actually, um, how each uh, regional sister community actually work and uh, what they do in there um, to tackle um, cybersecurity issues. So the first question I have here um, is, um, what are the benefits of um, sister together to work uh, with the neighboring uh, teams in the region? And also, uh, what is the role of the regional CSERT uh, community in accelerating the collaboration among the teams? And if you have any example of activities, uh, we would be interested to hear. So first of all, I'd like to pass the microphone to uh, General Bell. Um, if you could introduce some of the activities that you're doing within Africa CERT, um, that would be great. So General Bell, please. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Yuka. Uh, for passing me the mic. Uh, good morning, everyone, and your colleague. Uh, thank you for uh, this opportunity to give you a view, a quick overview of what is going on uh, in the African continent. Um, uh, <clears throat> I, I will address your question, Yuka, uh, in, in, in three ways, uh, by do, giving you a quick overview of Africa set activities, speak about regional specificities and how we work together using some, some, some question. So I, I, as you introduced and already know, uh, Africa CERT is the forum of security and accident response team within the African continent. Uh, it, it is an initiative that started a few years ago, mostly uh, since 2010, and JP CERT, OIC CERT have been uh, very instrumental uh, to, to, to establish Africa CERT. And members include government, commercial, academic sectors with structure and unstructured teams. 
uh, the network operate on three pillars, uh, operation, research, uh, and policy making. And there are a couple of principles that guide the operation, uh, at least a point of contact in the countries, capacity building, uh, collaboration within teams, helping uh, one another, learning by doing and leveraging the international network. So as you rightly outlined in the introduction of the panel, Yuka, uh, raising incident handling capability at the regional level will eventually contribute to the overall improvement of the cybersecurity posture in the global community. Uh, as we know, uh, collaborative process are key drivers that make the internet what it is. And part of this collaboration and primary the action taking to ensure internet security are coordinated from special expert group, responders and defenders, sometimes organized in centers called incident response stream. Through shared techno technical knowledge, norm pattern, that scale and best practice, these experts contribute to regional collaboration as well as international collaboration. In the African context, uh, regional collaboration is evident as, and we even expect more regional initiative. Uh, the, the African Union's resident initiative uh, include the Malabo Convention and a digital transformation framework with team for the continent economic prosperity. The regional economic communities play a role in economic integration, addressing regional challenge, promoting peace and security, working with various stakeholders in raising the standard of living, contributing to the continent's progress and development through economic growth and social development. Internet security becomes therefore a regional concern with wide ranging trend, social, political, and economic implication. Responders and defenders are affected by these implications. They are also affected by cultural norms and identities. A regional framework uh, like Africa Third, provide a network that supports uh, that regional agenda and specify specifically tackling regional challenge and leveraging opportunities. So some of the key things that happen within the uh, Africa Third network is to ensuring uh, reachability. Uh, as I mentioned before, at least a uh, point of contact in countries. Liaison between uh, regional, national, and external bodies. Facilitation of capacity building through conferences, training events, and coordinated exercise. Sharing technical knowledge, national level expertise, and exchanging information. Uh, forging regional expert culture and carrying out community building activities supporting regional framework and networking country. So you often see teams uh, between countries helping each other. A joint exercise and establishing of lesson learns, a joint capacity building events, study to travel, and even incubation of personnel uh, inside teams. You often see a team sending his personnel uh, to another team for incubation period. And I would like to cite a few examples that even happened within this, uh, this month. One is in terms of team establishment. So the scenario usual is as this. A country is at the planning stage of his national team or even an organization at the planning stage of his team. He engaged the Africa Search Secretariat. Various teams reach out to them share their experience, the process, the challenge. And through that framework, a collaboration framework started to um, help this team to start, build on uh, the existing and reach a certain level of maturity. A second experience is, for example, access to first and first fellowship. Uh, usually what you start seeing now, uh, since we, um, started uh, this regional network 
Is teams conducting assessment for first membership and supporting one, one, one another for membership application. You also see teams supporting one another for first fellowship. Um, a third example that I would like to outline is in terms of incident coordination. A typical scenario is a team is coordinating an incident, team share information, IOC, etc., with other teams. Luckily, a team has already experienced this and get into supporting the team that is, really, uh, that is experiencing the current issue. There are some incidents, for example, that are common in an African region and not in another. And at the end, they share the lesson learned for the global community. So I would will, I will like to stop um, at, at that point and give uh, the opportunity of, uh, to my uh, dear colleague, Maud, to share with us the experience in OIC Serve. So back to you, Yukako. Um, General Bell, thank you very much for intro introducing the uh, activities in Africa CERT. So you mentioned about the very important points such as um, point of contact and reachability. That's one of the um, good example of um, regional um, CERT activities. And I, I really, I'm really um, interested in that. And so now over to Shamil, um, could you please introduce uh, what your um, activities um, being, being taken at the OIC CERT and some of the um, examples? Um, you can you can share with us. Okay, um, thank you, Yuka. So uh, from my side, okay, from the OIC cert uh, aspect, see the OIC uh, itself uh, consists of uh, 57, 56 countries, okay, spread out throughout at least three regions. You know, uh, the Asia, Middle East, Africa, and I think we have one member way back in the uh, South America. So um, some of the uh, members of the OIC CERT is also a member of Africa CERT and is also a member of AP CERT. Okay? And then um, <clears throat> we have uh, the membership, which is break, bro broken up into at least three major ones, which is the full member, which uh, has the authority to represent the countries okay, that they are in. Then we have general member, which are certs or non-profit um, organization uh, that uh, are within the OIC member countries. Then we have the commercial members. Okay, uh, this one is not limited to OIC countries. It is open to any uh, organization that is interested or have uh, their vision aligned with the OIC cert vision in terms of making the cyber safe uh, the cyber space safe. So uh, in terms of uh, um, why, okay, the benefits of uh, CERTs, CERTs having to work with each other is that uh, cyber, we acknowledge, okay, the OIC CERT acknowledge that cyber security or the cyber environment um, does not, it's not a localized thing. So it is an international matter, it is a global matter. So a local CSET would be at a disadvantage. The, that is the reason why CSET needs to be um, on, on, a, on an international platform, on a collaboration international platform to work together, leveraging the global uh, co this collaboration in terms of uh, mitigating cyber threats. <clears throat> So for that, okay, the OIC CERT okay, believes that uh, have um, in strengthening and the relationship among the members. Right now, we have 20, 27 OIC countries as members. Okay? And then uh, with this membership, we, we intend to strengthen the capabilities of um, the members, at least to have some minimum level of cybersecurity and then we encourage also the, the uh, sharing of information and experience among members, okay, build, uh, uh, building the capabilities in terms of providing training and awareness, and then uh, promoting collaborative research, okay, such as the uh, malware research that we have right now, okay, 
uh, we, we do work together with all the members in terms of collecting data and so on. And uh, we try to reach out to the rest of the member teams. Okay, we still have another 25 countries that is not be, being a member yet. Okay, uh, we are trying to reach out to them. However, they probably have other priorities in term, and um, uh, information management probably is not their priority right now. And then uh, the most important thing is that uh, we assist, we try to assist, um, you know, the, the not so advanced member to bring up their capability uh, in terms of cybersecurity so that they will be able to mitigate and manage uh, any cyber incidents uh, properly. <clears throat> So basically, that is more or less on what uh, OIC CERT does, actually. All right. Um, thank you very much, Jamie, for um, explaining about your activities and, and basics about the um, OIC CERT. So um, I believe OIC CERT is one of the quite unique um, community because it, it is not only um, bonded by the regional uh, background, but it's also based on the religious community that you have. Um, quite, it covers quite, you know, wide um, geographical area, as you mentioned, from the Asia to uh, Middle East to Africa. So that's a great point. And also, you also mentioned about the outreach to um, the remaining um, OIC countries um, in order to, um, you know, welcome them on board to the OIC CERT community. And that's one thing that, that is really important about, um, you know, making the community, you know, to a richer um, environment. Mm -hmm. So um, with that, I'd like to move on to the next question that I have here. So the, another question that I have here is the, the challenges and obstacles um, when, you're, when you're working in a regional community. So, um, I would like to ask two of you, uh, what are the challenges and the obstacles hindering smooth collaboration among members in the region? And how does your community aim to address such issues? This may include, for example, the language barriers or maybe some different cultures that you're facing, or you can also mention something about the, the situation that you're facing in relation to the COVID-19 situation. So with that, um, again, I'd like to pass it over to uh, General Bell, if, if you could start with your uh, intervention about the Africa CERT, please. Yeah, um, th thank you, Yuka. Uh, so I will mention a couple of points, uh, about four points. Um, so the, the language barrier, um, there are a couple of uh, language uh, within the continent, uh, mostly French, English, et cetera, uh, uh, Portuguese. And what you see today uh, to overcome that uh, language barrier is some teams taking to task to translate uh, key documents, putting those documents at, at the disposal of the, the, the community. So for example, uh, they just, some of the team just completed uh, the translation of uh, SIM tree. Uh, they have also completed the, uh, the, the translation of um, a, um, CSERT creation and management uh, documentation that they have shared to, to, with, with, with other teams uh, that, that are having um, some language challenge. Um, another challenge that uh, I would like to talk about is building trust. As you know, uh, coordinating a multi-stakeholder network with uh, entities from various countries and sectors in a context where government and public sector are learning to work together is very challenging. Uh, it implies setting clear expectations on how information has to be exchanged, will be used, disseminated, um, uh, establishment of a secure infrastructure for managing sensitive information, and the ability to communicate securely with uh, different stakeholders, having, having a common understanding uh, of things, uh, an infrastructure that supports advanced notification for selected audience, uh, 
a procedure to guard against information leakage, uh, the ability to, to reach out to teams uh, in an expecting, expected uh, timeline, and understanding of the same fundamental principle. Um, we are still working on this, and it's, it is a work in progress. Um, so, however, uh, we see some improvement uh, by organizing yearly events, gathering all the stakeholders uh, in multi-stakeholder dialogue. The recent symposium, uh, for example, that we had from 21st to 23 October is an activity uh, that is expected to, to happen uh, at least uh, every year, hosted by SCCR teams, uh, participating in various community activities. For example, the African Internet Summit is uh, hosted by the technical community, it is also a way uh, that helps us to bridge gap and to allow the different community to understand each other and also to communicate. And there is also a, a significant work uh, to provide access to knowledge standard developed in the first community and also in different trusted community. But also what started this year is the, par the participating and organizing several exercises at the continental level so that people can have the ability to speak to each other and work together. Um, another challenge is the political commitment. H how do you strengthen and extend uh, such a network uh, without political commitment? Or what do you do to secure political commitment and member state support to ensure that uh, they, they support the regional CSIRT coverage and provide the organization with the institutional framework that is necessary uh, to, to, to proceed. And we are still working, uh, reaching out to uh, the African Union, uh, various regional economic forum, but also participating in activity like IGF and others to engage uh, uh, policymakers, but also um, member states at the political level uh, to secure their support uh, for, for the network. And a fourth thing that I would like to talk about is resources. Um, organizing these activities are not inexpensive. Um, and you, especially when you have teams at various level of their maturity curve. Um, how do you support the operation of such a network uh, without having uh, a single entity or member take over all the challenges? Um, sometimes support is required to sustain operation, to, to, to organize activities or even to secure members' participation and travel. Um, effort had been made uh, at that level to engage various actors, uh, uh, both within the African uh, network, but also uh, the international community. Uh, but also uh, teams uh, provide some function as services, for example, uh, at, at this time, a team is hosting the secretariat for uh, several years. Uh, another team is performing other function as the incident, uh, incident response uh, for last resort CSERT activities. <clears throat> another team is, is providing support for uh, translating various documents into different language. Uh, having said that, um, I will uh, uh, stop there and I will give the opportunity to uh, Mon to, to provide uh, his input. So back to you, Yuka. Um, thank you very much. I think that translation activity is one of the very um, useful um, activities that, that we're doing, uh, that, that you're doing and we're doing as well. Um, we're, for example, we're also um, engaged in um, Trans translating some of the first documents and etc. So that's good. 
And Shamil, um, can you introduce some of the challenges and obstacles that you're, uh, that you're um, facing um, in OIC CERT? Um, because we're kind of running out of time. Um, maybe quickly, if you could address some of the issues, um, please, Shamil. Okay. No, yeah, I, I would, I would um, support uh, what John Robert said just now, you know, uh, most of the challenges that he is facing is the same with, uh, with what we are facing in OIC CERT. But I would like to just sum up the challenges that we face into just two main categories, which is establishing trust, okay, and then establishing the commitments from the members, okay. So uh, for trust, for example, right, uh, we, we need to have trust uh, because we are, at the end of the day, we are still human. So uh, how do we establish this? Okay. So, so although we, we do uh, speak over the, the, the phone, via email, but being human, there is this necessity for us to meet eye to eye, you know, uh, to, to look into the eyes and, and talk about matters. So that is why uh, for OSC said we do uh, place a heavy uh, requirement in terms of meeting face to face, at least uh, once a year. You know, during our annual conference, that is where we establish rapport with each other. We do team building to so that we know the other members, not just as colleagues, but as friends. From there, it will instill trust, okay, uh, between us to, to share uh, information, uh, maybe uh, sensitive information in terms of mitigating the cyber threats. Okay. The, the other thing also we need to, although, Okay, although we agree uh, in principle that uh, we will not allow our political beliefs to interfere in, in the collaboration, but it does, uh, you know, the government does have at the end a say on what we transmit, uh, what we share. Okay? And then that is about trust. Then the other one is about having commitment. Now, OIC said is a voluntary effort. Okay, people uh, join. Uh, the, 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 the bandwagon, okay, because they want to the benefits of it. So OIC CERT, okay, have been um, established since 2008, 2009, okay, and after, after more than 10 years, we only get about half of the, the, the you know, OIC member countries to be on board. So you can see the commitment that, that, that is being shown. Okay, uh, this is probably because not all the OIC countries are putting priority in, in their information, man, information security activities. There's, there are some of the OIC countries that are still struggling to even meet the basic needs. Okay, and then um, because of that, okay, uh, we, OIC said we have a, 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 a group, a working group that is looking into reaching out to all the other, the other countries that are not yet members and trying to bring them on board. <laughs> um, all right, Shamil, thank you very much. Um, sorry to, to cut, cut, cut in your um, intervention, but uh, we, we're kind of running out of time. So um, before, um, just a last message from myself um, is that uh, um, as you can see, we're, we have a lot of different uh, regional level um, activities to raise up um, uh, cybersecurity capability. And that kind of activity will eventually um, be connected to the um, cybersecurity uh, activity as a whole to the first level and the global level. So um, I would, I'd like to, one of the takeaways that I have here is that we have these regional communities and they're doing uh, different jobs to um, elaborate um, and raise up um, the global communities efforts in there. and. So Adli, we have some questions here. Uh, yes, we do. So if you can, if you guys can take it up very quickly, uh, we have about one minute left. Um, maybe one, one, each of you can maybe address one, one, uh, one question each and then uh, we'll go, we'll take it from there. Okay, can I, can I answer the, uh, the one that says about uh, to what extent do OIC CERT and Africa CERT see capacity building activity coordination and sharing as a key role? Okay, so uh, for this one, um, 
we do have a, a group, okay, uh, being led by one of the uh, steering committee members, so to speak, to, uh, to do uh, capacity building. It is a, a major activity for us, okay? And uh, we do this training at, at least, okay, once a month, we do have, uh, uh, I would say, uh, online training. And as I mentioned, for us to get more members to come on board, we need to have uh, awareness sessions with them. So capacity building and awareness sessions are a key role as far as the OIC cert is concerned. All um, right. Um, yeah, I think, so, uh, sorry, jean Robert, are you going to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, but uh, it's, okay, to, to add quick to that, uh, Shamir, I, I would also like to point uh, the participation of uh, Africa cert teams in the OIC cert uh, cyber exercise. And it has proven to um, be very beneficial for those teams that are participating. So that's what I have to, to add to what Shamir said. Um, should I take the other question or are we done? Uh, uh, no, sorry, we don't have uh, time. We, we need to prepare for the next uh, session. So I would highly encourage those who ask questions, thank you very much to reach out to Shamir, Jean Robert or Yuka directly. Uh, and maybe have a uh, conversation on the sidelines or via email. So with that, thank you everybody. Thank you all the panelists today for the interesting discussion. Uh, and thank you for everyone who have joined us and asked questions. So um, see you around at the other sessions today. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you, thank everyone. You. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.